Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a cute summer to fall transition nail art with gel eggs and I'm just prepping her nails right now. I'm just going in with my fine sanding bit um, and just removing the shine from her nail beds. Now I am going in with my, you know, small round bit that I always use going from left to right and just removing any of the cuticles on her nail beds and kind of pushing them back as well. Um, I know this gets kind of repetitive because I do the same prep every time I do nails, um, but for the new people that don't know, that's exactly what I'm doing here. All right, so today she wanted an almond shape. So I usually take my natural stiletto long from a prey and I just cut them down and reshape them. But you wanna make sure you are measuring from sidewall to sidewall cause you don't want the tip to be too small. But if you do come across um, a time where the tip is too big or too small, I would go with the bigger tip and just file it down to fit the nail bed. Now I am going in with my OPI Bondi dehydrator. You can use any dehydrator you're comfortable with. Um, it works just as well as long as it's doing its job and dehydrating the nail. And then I'm going to go in with my um, Apre gel primer. It's a non-acid gel primer. And um, these are the two combos that I've been using and it works just as good for me. So I get a lot of questions asking what gels I use or what glue I use and I am using the Extend Gel by Apre. Um, I do link it down below in my description box. A lot of you guys miss the part where I say that or um, just don't even look in the description box at all but I do link most of my products there. I try to link as much as I can just so you guys know what I'm using because I do get a lot of questions um, but I also get a lot of questions about how to apply the tip without getting air bubbles and how i like to do it is i like to put it at a 45 degree angle near the cuticle area and then slightly press down um, making sure all the gel is flowing down the tip onto the nail bed and then i would hold it and then grab my light and cure um, you can also buy things like a gooseneck uh what is it uv light to help you so you don't have to hold the light i just purchased one and i will link it on my amazon storefront and i like it a lot better too because i don't really have to hold the light but either way it works well for me
So I'm going in with my adjustable nail cutter and I love this tool because it measures every finger the same. Um, especially this is more for like your shorter to medium nail clients because it only goes up to a certain length. Um, but for my longer clients, I just use scissors. But for shorter nail clients, this is a lifesaver. I don't have to sit there and worry about measuring the fingers to make sure it's accurate. It literally does it for you. And I will link this down in the um, description box as well. Or you can find it on my Amazon storefront. Um, but yeah, go get this tool, girl. It will save you some time. And make sure you guys are roughening out your, file, your new files because, look, a file cut is not fun okay it hurts um it's uncomfortable and you don't want to put your client through that pain so just go ahead and do yourself a favor and dull out the edges please So I am going in with my Panna Diamond Bit. Um, it is a non-safety bit, so it's very sharp when you first purchase it. I did get it off Amazon, and it is listed on my Amazon storefront. I like using this bit sometimes because if you know when you do gel eggs, the gel gets caught on your drill bits, and you have to, uh, you have to like remove the gel off the drill bit. But this drill bit is sharp, so it like it doesn't make it dull as fast i don't know if you know you know but yeah i like this drill bit a lot but it is sharp so you have to be very careful with it um especially going around the skin area So now I am going in with my favorite new combo for the moment. It just goes so well for everybody's skin tone. Um, but it is Eye Gel Beauty's Truffle. Wait, what is it called? 
um, ruffle trim. I was about to say it all completely wrong, but I do one coat of this and then I'll go in on top with my brand, Ivy, um, the color Soft Blush. I can't wait for you guys to get a hold of it. I promise you I'm trying to get it out as fast as I can, but it's a process um, just doing the whole website and everything, but I promise I will have it out around fall time so you guys can get your hands on it but yes so we're gonna go in with um a coat of this and a coat of soft blush and i do cure in between um about 60 seconds So before we do the design, you want to put top coat. Um, this is a key because you don't want to have to put top coat on after. That would just mess up the design. But I am using Ivy's top coat. Um, super shiny, not too thick. I love it. Um, can't wait for you guys to get your hands on this as well. But yeah, so we're going to top coat and cure for 60 seconds. So we're gonna go in with three different shades of yellow. The first color is 744 or 745. Um, and then the second one is 745, I believe. Yeah, or 746, I'm sorry, it's one of those. I'm gonna link it down below. And then the third color, I used the same color for the second one, but I just mixed it with um, Monarch by Ivy. Um, just a little bit so it can be a little darker. But what we're gonna do first is draw the um, first ring around the nail. And um, I'm going to do all five fingers and then what I'm going to do is pour clear acrylic over it so it gives it that matte texture look. But you don't want to cure it. You want to draw it on, pour the powder and then cure after for 60 seconds.
So once you pull it out the lamp, we're going to dust it off and then we're going to go in with the second color and then just basically repeat the steps until you get the final look. But it's super easy, guys, but make sure you pour the powder on top of the wet polish and then cure after each uh, color because if you do all the colors at once and then try to pour the powder, it can get messy. So you want to save yourself the trouble and just do it this way. But I love this design. It turned out so cute. Also, these are Ivy's new nail art brushes. Um, it's going to be coming in the size 20 millimeters, 15, 9, and 7. Um, so I cannot wait to you guys try them because they're literally so good. It's perfect for me. Um, I love them. I get all my work done, and I know you guys will love it. It's like nice and thin, not super thin, but thin enough. Um, it's just the bomb. But um yeah, I will let you guys know when that will be releasing as well.
So that was the last color and once that's all nice and cured, I usually um, cure just for 60 seconds, you can do longer, it doesn't matter, but that's pretty much it and then you dust it off and that's it, you don't top coat it again because if you top coat it again, you lose the texture of the nails and it turned out so cute. If you guys like this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notifications to know when I post next, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, everything, um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye.